Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm gonna um, try this video again. I made it earlier. I couldn't get no sound, but anyway, there's my Bosch. Um, everything looks to be okay. Um, just doing some final tweaking, whatever's. Still got to put my humidifier in and one other UV bulb. I'll post pictures um, later. But uh, yeah, I uh, couldn't have actually picked a better time. It's actually going through a five minute delay. Um, it was on and then I walked inside to lower the temperature and it actually hit set point. So I uh, bumped the thermostat back down. So it's going through its five minute delay on the stat and whatnot. Um, Yeah, it's pretty pretty close on the temperature there um, system is actually idled so I'm flashing you know a normal heartbeat so it's it's waiting pulling a, it looks like 0.67 I'm thinking maybe crankcase heater while it's just sitting there um, yeah that's what I'm thinking maybe crankcase heater or whatnot but anyway I have 0.67 still there too so just kind of wanted to get uh let y'all guys hear the startup of this thing um i did notice earlier that the startup uh on the fan is is one amp so if the fan is running an uh, amp like that it's a startup of one five on the fan one six one or three so if, if that's what the fan is running at that speed, then most of the amp draw is biatches from the fan. The one thing I don't like about this thing that I've learned is the liquid line valve. In order to, look at this, see not, in order to get my freaking tools and instruments and whatnot on there, look at that. The compressor just started and dropped down to 25. I'm mean, look at that. That is that's a freaking startup, fellas. Can you hear that? Can you hear it? it? It's it's unbelievable. That's startup. It's crazy. Look at that. Watch it, watch it ramp itself up. You know, I bumped my thermostat down by like four degrees. Um, I don't have any of the humidification settings or any of that crap on the air handler setup or anything. I'm just trying to keep it simple for right now. Later on, I'm gonna go around messing around with some two-stage stuff. Um, set it up that way and you know, do some do some little playing around see what this thing can do but right now i'm just you know trying to get the house to comfortable um, everything so um yeah i'm gonna screenshot my field piece uh, uh final final results on the uh on the uh thing uh but like i said everything I, I, I love this unit except for that one freaking stupid thing right there i mean in order to get my tools on there even my vacuum gauge uh, not vacuum gauge, but vacuum tool. I mean, even to do that, it was like a pain in the ass. I had to take the screws out and lift the valve up, which is not, you know, it's, if we know what we're doing, that's not bad, but it fucking sucks. But it's not too shabby. Um, if anybody's had experience with uh, outdoor sensor um, or my April Air Stat, I mean, I know it's talking to the sensor just that way through the thermistor, but. Um, I ran it with the same cabling, so I don't know if that's an issue or not. I don't think so. Um, anyway, I sealed that hole up too. Um, I noticed I had some ants out here earlier, so I don't want no issues with critters. So I sealed it up with some gum, well, permacy, whatever the hell you want to call it. I call it plum gum. Anyway, that's the piece running right now. Like I said, she's pulling it. 2.19 and she's she's pretty much hanging out right there at 19 uh 1920 um and i'm i'm, I'm presuming that's like um, either hertz or percent um when i lock it into force mode for the um charge it only gets up to 56 and i do have it selected to the two ton so i'm just trying to use common sense here so if i'm i'm thinking this is a three ton unit um it can get up to 50 56 58 percent um maybe maybe the three tone would ramp all the way up to 100 i'm not sure somebody correct me if i'm wrong i don't know i've never been to a class i need to um do that because yeah uh my boss and everybody else is like yo we need to start selling these 
and um, yeah, it's true. Looks like we're getting ready to get a thunder shower. So I'm not gonna play around with this too much longer because I'm gonna get this crap wet. But hey, let's uh, do this. Over top the fan. Over top the fan, fellas. Down on the fan, fellas. Luke, I am your father. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable. There she is, ramping up a little bit more. I mean, look at that. The highest I've gotten this thing even in charge force mode, 7.1, 7.1, yeah. But like I said, man, I'm impressed. I think there's gonna be more to come. I don't wanna think about a breakdown, but if that shit was to happen, I mean, I got the warranty, so that's good, but the sucky part is, is I got no parts for it, so. I'd have to be waiting with no AC or whatever. So I did opt to put the heater pack in and I did wire up five KW out of my 10. Um, in the event of a failure or something in the heating mode, I can still rely on that. So that's the only reason I'm using it. But uh, we'll try to use it without it, first of all, and then we'll go from there. If I need it, we'll add five. But uh, if this thing performs like it's supposed to, I'm not going to need it. <laughs> anyway, fellas, I'll uh, post some pictures, uh, some final results of the uh, field piece uh, job link app info of how it turned out. And uh, we'll holler at you later. Peace.